as this season of Advent begins, I am reminded of my profound admiration for dual citizens. It can be difficult enough to successfully navigate the norms and the language and the culture of even one nation. Dual citizens are challenged with having to do it for at least two. And it is this sort of dual citizenship to which this holy season calls us. Advent is the season of beginnings. It invites us to contemplate the build-up to the incarnation, the first coming of Christ that we celebrate at Christmas. It ties us firmly to this world and to remember that God came and visited this world in human form. But it is also the season of endings. It invites us to contemplate the apocalyptic literature, the literature that describes the end of all things, when time and space as we know it will cease to exist, and earth and heaven will become one in a timeless, eternal union. How on earth are we to navigate this sort of dual citizenship? How practically can we live as people who on the one hand are called to live fully, perhaps more fully than ever, in this world, and to address its challenges, and to love it and nurture it as completely as we possibly can. And yet we are also called to be citizens of the next, to be people who already have one foot in that realm where time and space as we know it have ceased to exist, and life has become this expansive, eternal, and timeless beauty. The only way we can do it is to reach out to the one who bridges that gap. For us, it is simply impossible. The work of Advent is arguably even harder than the work of Lent, but that forces us to do the one thing that will give us success, to get on our knees and pray to Christ, give us your essence. Because without that essence, we cannot possibly do the work that this season gives us to do. But with it, we can accomplish all things in this world and the one to come. Let our Advent prayer be just that. O Christ, give us your essence.